Let's talk about the guys out there is going to get a job. I don't know how quickly. I'm not quite sure where. Who do you want to ask the next question about? Well, well, Sean Payton, we were talking about maybe as a potential candidate for the Chargers. And I was reading that he actually covets that Charger opportunity. But um, now he seems to be interviewing with some of the other teams. Sean Payton is a hot commodity out there. And I think when that domino falls, then all the others will fall. Sean Payton interviewed for four hours on Tuesday morning with Denver Bronco officials in Los Angeles. He completed an interview with the Houston Texans. We're led to believe there's an interview coming in Arizona. And David Tepper, the Carolina owner, has indicated after one brief meeting, he wants to bring him back for a true formal interview with everybody in the organization. There's a lot of angles to the story. One, he's asking tons of money. I've been told in excess of $10 million a year just for him. Two, he wants to bring his whole football group of guys with him, his staff. Three, he wants player personnel control decision-making power, which to me said that's a that's a tough call because that means the owner has to go tell his current general manager, you work for Sean Payton. You don't work for me. You're working under him. That becomes a big issue. And then the, the fourth item in the equation is the story that is swirling out there now is that the New Orleans Saints, who still have him under contract, want big compensation. I was told initially it was a number one pick. Now I've been told it's two number ones because New Orleans, John, has looked back at the prices clubs paid to hire John Gruden. When Tampa wanted John Gruden from the Raiders, they paid two number ones and two number twos. And when Belichick and Parcells jumped back and forth on the eastern seaboard between New England, the Giants, the Jets, there was compensation involved there too. So suddenly New Orleans has looked at what these other teams paid for marquee coaches. And New Orleans says, we want two number ones. Might be number one this coming year, might be a number one four years down the road. But that's a gold standard price to pay for a head coach like Sean Payton. Um, I'm not quite sure where he's going to wind up, although I was told uh, by a reporter in Denver that he's going back in for another interview with the Walton family. Mm. So that that means if you're having the second interview, that maybe you're going to be the guy. And there's a there's a story out there uh, that Russell Wilson called Sean Payton after the first interview on Tuesday in Los Angeles. And Payton and Wilson seem to have set up a line of communication. I get the sense that Russell Wilson wants Sean Payton to be his head coach and maybe Wilson carries some clout. So maybe Payton is coming into the AFC West. Your turn. Well, you, you say ten million bucks a year, right? But isn't that what the disgraced John Gruden got when he uh, was the coach of the Raiders? Yes, that's what the Davis family finally agreed to pay him. So they've already set the benchmark there. So he's asking for the same thing. If I were in his shoes, I'd be asking for at least that. You know, especially with his track record as a coach and the respect he has around the league. I think the other sidebar stunning thing to me is, and New Orleans President and General Manager Mickey Loomis praises Sean Payton. To the hilt. How come they didn't bring him back? If if Peyton wants to come back and coach, why would New Orleans not bring him back? I mean, the guy that got in there does not have any track record of success at all. And you know, I don't think Dennis Allen has had a winning season anywhere in his career as a head coach with the Raiders or obviously this year when New Orleans went seven and ten. Why would the Saints not bring Sean Payton back? Or maybe Sean Payton says, I've done as much as I can do organizationally. I need it change of address and need a breath of fresh air or need a new group to lead. So shall be interesting. All right, before